What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel FL2K prep part 4 and uh, hopefully we're gonna get something accomplished today. So uh, in the last video you guys saw we got the trunk cut out, got the bracket started for the tank, um, kind of mounted up the tank to see where we need to add some bracketry and see if we need to gusset the brackets that we made. Uh, but a lot of cutting, grinding, welding has taken place already. So uh, Joe's been killing it on that and Joe's got them dime welds. But uh, next thing we got to do essentially is I got the lines in from Lethal Performance. Huge shout out to my buddy Logan over there, always helping me out in the time crunch. But we got them, uh, their PTFE lines just like the ones that come in the Lethal Performance Division X kit, which is what I run on my car now. Um, they're just extended so that the lines can reach the back. So I got some fuel lines that we need to install. So I got to take the old ones out. I need to start taking off the drive shaft so we can actually drop the stock tank and get that out of there and then get the hat out of there, get that attached to the new fuel tank and kind of wire everything up, which I don't think we're gonna wire everything up today because I'm waiting on some nice Deutsch connectors to come in because we're gonna add those to the Division, the Division X hat. So I'm waiting on those to come in. Those will probably come in tomorrow. So we probably won't actually start wiring up the fuel hat, but we can mock everything up, make sure it all fits. And then I can run the fuel lines to the back, make sure those fit, um, fix the ice tank lines, because obviously the return and the one off of the actual pump itself are gonna be a little bit different with the way the tank is set up. So just need to pretty, pretty much mock all that stuff up tonight. Um, I wasn't able to get trans fluid today. I was kind of busy, so I didn't get any trans fluid. So we'll have to wait to check the transmission tomorrow when I can actually go get some fluid. But today, essentially, we're going to get the fuel tank dropped, get all that fuel out of there, put the new lines on, mock up the tank, and uh, we'll see where else we get to tonight. So I will see you guys over at Mr. Streetcar Joe's house. Right, guys it is now Saturday and uh, sorry I haven't been updating the vlog that much we've just been trying to crank some stuff out uh, Joe and Brady been trying to get his car done as well so we've just been it's been pretty hectic over there just trying to get a ton of stuff done so pretty much the other night we got everything ran back to the tank we pressurized everything make sure the fuel system was working we actually found that a fuse was blown for one of the pumps so um, I don't know if that just happened when we were wiring everything up or if that actually happened last time out at the track when I was having electrical issues. But anyways, that is fixed now. Got all three pumps firing. Uh, got the ice tank pump going. Everything's good. Nothing's leaking. So we just double checked over all that. So pretty much now we've got the battery wired up, mounted. That's good to go. Pretty much now what we got to do is mount the trans cooler today. Um, I'm going to go get a switch because I'm going to change my fuel pumps to be on a switch because before with the Mustang being that's newer, anytime you like open the door, it starts the fuel system, kind of primes it and uh, that always tends to kill my battery like when we're in the lanes and stuff. So typically I shut the battery off and then we push it in the lanes. Now I won't have to worry about the fuel pumps possibly draining themselves <laughs> or draining the battery, not themselves, draining the battery. So we're gonna put the fuel pumps on a switch now too. So I'm gonna run to auto parts store, get a switch for that. And then I've gotta to go to Lowe's, get some aluminum so we can make a bracket for the trans cooler because when we cut out the tub, that cut out the mounting points that I previously had for the trans cooler. So we've gotta make some brackets for that and finish up a few small electrical things, but we are very close. We got fluid back in the transmission. I got that all back together, got the drive shaft back on, got the stock fuel tank out of the way. So we are making some progress. However, it is Saturday, it's like four o'clock and uh, you know, it's crunch time. It's gonna be hard for me to work on the car Monday, Tuesday, because I've got a lot of clients I've got to train Monday, Tuesday before I leave out of town. So I really won't have much time to work on the car. And I went and got some maintenance done on the truck today, got an alignment, got the tires uh, balanced and rotated, had a nail in one of the tires, had to get that fixed and got an oil change on it. So the truck is good to go for the long 22 hour haul. And so it's just kind of been a week of running around trying to get everything done. So hopefully we'll get the Mustang done today, if not tomorrow, and then get it. I really need to get the car back to the house on Sunday because I need to begin to load up on Tuesday. 
um, like I said, because I'm not gonna be able to touch anything probably Monday. I'll be working probably pretty late. So we really gotta get the car back to the house on Sunday. That way I can start gathering everything, put it together with the car, double check everything on the car, and uh, make sure we're good to go for this long haul. So I'm gonna run to Lowe's, run to the auto parts store, and then hopefully later on today I can show you guys the completion of the trunk. If not, show you tomorrow, because I'm really excited to show you guys what the trunk's gonna look like with the carbon trim. So I'll see you guys back at Streetcar Joe's house at some time today. finally got a chance to update you so Joe had to go run some errands real quick but this is how the tank is mounted in here and then check out this panel Joe made Let's see if we can get a light on it look at that carbon panel so it had an extra sheet of carbon so Joe put the three relays and three fuses for the pumps up there and then ran the power got the braille battery back there then obviously the ice tank fuel cell. And I right, just unplugged this harness, but this was all kind of hardwired before, and Joe put a nice Deutsch connector on it. Then we got the David Craig's pump down there. So I'm starting to disconnect everything because we're actually about to take everything out now that we got it all fitted. Um, I did make a trans cooler bracket. It's down here, it's all loose now because like I said, we're about to take everything out now that we got it all fitted. So we can put the carbon sheet in there. So ordered this huge piece of carbon. So that's real carbon, four by four sheet of real carbon. That's uh, about $400 worth of carbon. But, so we're gonna pretty much take the tank out, lay the sheet of carbon down. Joe welded in these super nice uh, tin soldier race cars tabs. And so the carbon will attach to those tabs. You can see it goes all along the bottom there. So we're gonna take the tank out, fit the carbon down, cut it to size. And then what we'll have to do is cut little holes for all the hoses to fit through. And uh, it's going to clean this back area up super nicely. So pretty much everything is ready to go. We just have to fit the carbon, put everything back together, and then just clean up the inside. I did finally put my fuel system on an on-off switch. So that way when I open the door from now on, the fuel system just doesn't turn on. So I got a switch for that. And uh, everything else pretty much coming together, but super excited about this new trunk setup. So we're going to get everything pulled out here. Some water. I think I should call her. Call who? <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh, you're terrible. So we finally finished up after a very long four days with Streetcar Joe. Finally, I feel like it took long. I mean, it's Sunday. I feel We're like cutting it close. Tough. 
It is really good. So we've got the Division X triple hat up here. Some new fuel lines from Lethal Performance. And then none other than Streetcar Joe custom wiring harness. And then Joe made this super clean carbon fiber panel. It's got the fuses up top and then the three relays for each pump. And then power going to the battery. And then we've got the on off switch still in there. And then probably the thing that took the longest. <laughs> Cutting the carbon, right, Joe? That was a piece of cake. Yeah, no big deal. Joe's done it before. So, this is real carbon fiber, custom cut to fit all the lines. And I'll show you guys what it looks like underneath. So, I got the trans cooler mounted right there. Got the fuel lines coming through the back there. But, yeah, tons of work. So, we got these 10 soldier race car tabs right here. And that's why we mounted the streetcar carbon fiber to. <laughs> And so we had to make these slits for like the pump to sit down. You got the drain, return, feed for the ice tank. Looks super clean down here. So now, the stock fuel tank is gone, which doesn't really weigh much because it's plastic, but it is gone. So it looks like we're gonna go function test it here, but hopefully everything is good. Hey, hey, Daddy. What? 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 What's your car on right now? <laughs> okay, you know what? I'm... Slide into my DMs. <laughs> Joe doesn't know. Actually, the car was a lot heavier than we uh, thought. Yeah, we, uh... We're kind of disappointed today. <laughs> it's a whole, yeah, it's a... We uh, were about 100 pounds off of what we thought my car weighed, so... The car was definitely heavier before, because it didn't used to have the bead locks on it last time we weighed it. It's got dash now, digital screen. Different turbo. Different turbo! Forgot about that. We never and waited. The mount and the flange and all that's different yeah, now. That huge that was, mount we made. That was what. That's all white. So no, I bet between the brakes, the bead locks, and the turbo, I bet that's 20, 30 pounds right there. Oh yeah. The dash is probably. I mean, yeah, it's light, but it's still like the dash and your gauges. I mean, yeah. those are 10 plus pounds. So for all the people that thought my car was a lot lighter before, no, it wasn't. It actually really no, was. It really wasn't. <laughs> and the reason for that is a lot of these S five fifties don't even have cages. You fools. So yeah, we uh, yeah, somehow we gotta figure out how to lose more weight in this car coming just, up. Just uh, give me a week to cut off wheel. <laughs> Joseph Young and the whole saw. <laughs> I'll make it a So yeah, all the maintenance is done on the car. We're gonna go drive it here in a second, make sure it's not leaking, make sure everything's good to go. Gotta put the rear seat delete back in. But I think we're ready for FL2K. Huge thanks to street car, Joe. Joe, we need to update video on your car here soon. <laughs> Dave is actually in my spot. This is really weird. I'm usually on this side. I know. And this car's gone too. The Brady's like, car's gone. Like Joe's so got bad. one in the trailer just waiting. Yeah, that's coming in tonight. Oof. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Huge thanks to Streetcar Joe for the clean. Look at the wiring one more time. Look how nice that is. <laughs> Gosh. I should have hired Joe a long time ago. Ed, did you tell them it starts fantastic? Yeah, it starts like Super right up now. Charging bolts now. Yeah, before it was uh, pretty low voltage. It's got some. So Joe made a nice chassis ground to the roll cage. So that's like the best ground you can get right there. And the Braille battery, it is starting up way better than it was before. So hopefully that fixes all of our electrical issues we had. We actually found a dead fuse on one of the pumps. So I had a dead pump on the last pass. And we just found that randomly trying to... Yeah, <laughs> we couldn't oh, turn the pumps on. Known, yeah, know. we wouldn't have known. So I need to start checking all that stuff. Yeah, that, you need to add that to your list. On My pre-race pre checklist. Pre -race, uh, check the fuses. fuses. Since you got more than one, like you got to check them. Yeah, just too much. There's a lot of electrical stuff going on. So we're going to get it cleaned up. And uh, hopefully you guys will see us in the next video. Driving 22 hours to FL2K. Joe, you coming? No. <laughs> <laughs> just got a real shit to do. Uh, mm. Even if I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> wow! The support from Joe is gone. Wow. So, there it is, guys. The new trunk setup ready for Florida. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys have been following the build series for FL2K. And uh, if you guys are going to be in Florida, we'll see you guys there.